see our level damage. So, oh, I'm back in. <laughs> Man, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Like, oh, wait, this could be a lot of damage right here. Oh, never mind. I <laughs> take it back. It's another cool. <laughs> wow. Vortex kick. Vortex kick. Arch is down. That that's game. Oh, wow. wow. That's game. Hi everyone and welcome back to WBL. So I'm here with Itoman PR and Manta. So uh, welcome guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Numero. Hi Manta. Nice. Thanks for having us here. Gentlemen, good afternoon. So uh, you guys are uh, going to uh, shotcast your first What of League. So it'd be a fun experience, I think. We're looking forward to it. For sure. We're taking the training wheels off for me after the uh, first, you know, playoffs run in season one. So I'm looking forward to it. At least on your end, you already have the experience. I think you did good uh, last time. Could have been beginner's luck. We'll see what happens this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so uh, I know that we uh, covered it uh, a little bit in the uh, last video, uh, but I still go quickly quickly for uh, the um, viewers that won. Uh, it's uh, going to be a little bit different. So a roster of uh, 8 to 12 units. Uh, the costs are customized, so it's not the in-game cost. Um, for the total roster, it's a maximum of uh, 700 cost. For the teams, minimum of 3 units, so you can't run only 2 units. Uh, it's going to be uh, capped at uh, 200 cost and uh, no mono element teams. Uh, the Blade Stream TMR is going to be banned, so the TMR of uh, Veritas of the Heaven stage. And the thing that I forgot to cover in the first video is that the players uh, will get one extra standing point if they use all the units in the roster during the regular season. So uh, it was an incentive to, for the players not to uh, only add uh, like uh, one random unit at the end if they're not going to use it. Uh, also, it makes sure that uh, everyone will not only pick, a, uh, I don't know, one big DPS and uh, only run that uh, team uh, all season long. So it's going to uh, make things a little bit spicier. Going to be nice. What if my roster was just three units? <laughs> I know it. Uh, it isn't the case. <laughs> Gaming the system, I see. <laughs> uh, That's no a pretty rule cool rule. That. I'm. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the whole roster for each of our participants. Yeah, I, I didn't call it, but it was a uh, all car suggestion. So um, really a nice one. Perfect. Uh, so you guys are going to cover the uh, Charming Division. Uh, so the first one uh, is supposed to be the last one that was going to be uh, reviewed, but uh, we'll start with the uh, Wicked Awesome Sausage. Uh, so here we have uh, A2 and Kefka as main uh, DPS uh, carry. Otherwise, uh, we see that uh, cheap uh, AD cost Ibarra. And uh, yeah, uh, that's a pretty interesting thing, uh, team. Uh, Element-wise, it's... Uh, it's well covered. Uh, I don't know what you guys think about it. Hmm. I mean, I see some evasion in there. I see some magic. I see some tanking. I see some support. So he's pretty well covered. Um, we all know how strong A2 is, and Kefka can throw out all those status effects. Uh, I think he's going to have a pretty good matchup against magic teams. One thing I could potentially see as an issue is maybe Earth teams if he's trying to run lightning. No darker light is interesting. Dark and light are pretty much a staple in most teams these days. So not seeing any units on his roster being light or dark is a uh, is a bold move. It's pretty lightning heavy here, um, at least for kind of support, I guess. Um, well, I'm noticing some good elemental pairings. Like we have some lightning and fire. We have obvious ice and water team that fits 200 cost perfectly. Um, there's some good support here. Um, we have Kadia, who's gonna be a good counter to any Earth that might be coming in. Um, there's a good variety of elements and damage types, so should be interesting. Yeah, the only thing is that uh, if you want to run Earth, I don't know if uh, 2B is uh, enough to dissuade the, the enemy uh, to uh, use uh, their hearth team. But uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, I, I, I liked it. I think that it's... Uh, uh, I think that you, you could run with uh, high luck and uh, you could maybe dodge uh, some some hits uh, from time to time. <laughs> and here, uh, after the domination of uh, Red Mage, now we have a domination of Spears. <laughs> Spears? Funny you should mention that. 
We'll, we'll get there. We'll get to my comments on that one. <laughs> All right. So uh, next one is Dervis with the cocky blinders. So here we have uh, Young All Day, Soul, and uh, all at the Evans Blade. So uh, again, we're in the, this cold triangle with a splash of earth, but it's really for the support units. Um, I think it's pre it's a pretty scary team. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think I can see Soul and Golbez being a pretty tough comp to deal with right off the bat. Um, Golbez being at 50 cost, I think, for the second league in a row. I wouldn't be surprised to see him putting in a lot of work this season. Um, outside of that, you got Lorenzo, who's good for quickens. Uh, I see a lot of ice on this roster, but that might trick you into trying to play fire, which Elda will <laughs> very easily handle. So I think he's got a, a couple of good carry teams, and he can kind of deal with, you know, whatever the enemy might be able to throw out against him. I'm noticing some good magic tanks here. I'm noticing Dervis could go Agrius and Marial. So that should be an interesting set of options. We have Valade, who is a very good support, very popular option. Yeah. And as you said, a lot of the cold triangle on display here. So pretty, pretty focused element wise. Um, I think that with uh, 700 cost uh, as a cap, uh, most players did that. They, they picked three elements and they decided to uh, build uh, three major teams with uh, some variants. Uh, we, we don't see a wide variety like we were used to <laughs> see in the last se previous season because we were obligated to pick uh, two uh, units per element. So, uh, <laughs> I think that this is going to be a trend for the rest of the, the rosters. I'm particularly excited of that rule change, actually. <laughs> I think we all are. <laughs> All right, so next one is uh, Dero with uh, House Herald. So here we have a Soul and uh, Flagbearer Glaciela, and uh, we have a Splash, oh, so uh, Bronwell and uh, Oberon. So it's uh, going to be exciting to see. Bronwell. I was about to, my eyes went right to Bronwell. I don't think I've seen her once yet, except maybe a Friday night fights ever so recently while someone was walking around New York City not paying attention. Um, outside of that, we all know how good little Leela is. Uh, he's got the magic team counter right here. Um, he's contributing to the spear domination in the rankings, I see. Uh, Blade again, the ultimate support unit. Um, you can see yeah, a couple spear teams here, and we all know how good Soul can be. Well, what I'm noticing is the Lita. So in general, there's a lot of several faces that you don't usually get to see, namely Delita and Bronwell, like you mentioned. Um, I rarely see Gurns back, so I don't know. Maybe we'll get to see that um, that magic Delita you we used to hear so much about <laughs> back in the day. I really wanted to pick uh, Bronwell too. She was in my original plans. I did uh, some testing. I, I think that she has a uh, really great synergy uh, with um, Knight of Rune's turn. The only thing is that uh, I think that the damage she could do, our damage output is really low. Uh, so if a turn was uh, out uh, early in the fight, I think that it, it was troublesome. Uh, th that's why I decided not to go uh, with that route. Uh, but in general, a very bulky unit. She, she's going to be tough to kill. Especially with the lack of light. <laughs> yes, of course. And uh, next one, Save by the Bells. By it's your team, Itaman. <laughs> so we have oh, a showcase me. for Look at Ziza. that. <laughs> I've heard the stories of your Ziza, but never seen her in action. <laughs> so I, for one, am excited to see her finally. Um, this looks to me like one of your evasion teams from before I knew you. <laughs> and you've also got your evasion counter in Corwell, so... I do like that you leaned into your roots here, so I'll let this, you discuss. This is actually a very personal roster pick for me. Um, very nostalgic, pretty much uh, because a lot of these units I've, ha I've had history with, both in auto, auto PvP and manual PvP, like uh, 
Mediana and Mustadio with Phoebe were my first PvP team um, where I tried to rush and meta-nuke the enemy. I used to run a Ziza double Sazan team in manual, so that was the famous double Charm team I, I used one time against Rindel. Um, so a lot of these units, Corwell, who a lot of, I'm sure a lot of uh, manual players know me for, Corwell and the Sadali, so there's a lot of units I have history with. I didn't pick both Sazans, but, but hopefully the idea was that I could represent both of them through one. And you no, know, I went for Margaret instead of Phoebe, but pretty much the same role with a little extra spice added in. Um, yeah, just it, it's very personal for me. And Siza is just is one of my favorite units back in the day to use. She was a very spicy pick. Um, and I remember even Daniel Boone, shout out to him if he still hears us, stowed me the title of the Church of Ziza in the manual PvP Discord. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be able to feature her here again in second season of WBEL. For sure, uh, your team is going to be very uh, unpredictable. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, Ziza in action again. Um, it's really uh, a unit that we didn't see uh, often. Uh, maybe a couple of times in WDL, but uh, I couldn't even remember the, the fights. So. <laughs> as long as I get a win with her this season, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> and I really hate that uh, Sadali pick. Uh, really, um, no, I'm not fond of him. <laughs> well, it, it fits with the theme of the Charming Division, you know? Yeah. I was going to say, I have two fun facts for the viewers before we move on here. Number one, our division is named after his 100% charm Sadali. Against and me. And two, yes, that is true. And number two, <laughs> Edo Man's home screen unit has been Lucia Halloween for since the day she came out, pretty much. She is the only one to dethrone Ziza. And so, he will not change it. All right, it's so the next one, one is uh, LXD 80, uh, 92 uh, for his team uh, Nine Realms. Uh, he's Go a great night. player. Uh, I know him from uh, FNM. Uh, I see, we can all see the light trend, so I think that uh, he's going to be mostly playing uh, light units. Uh, that Lu Lucio is really an uh, underrated pick. Um, I think that even at uh, 120, he's still undercosted, <laughs> personally. Um, otherwise, uh, we can see a great sword uh, team, Brownwell, uh, Ailsrael. Uh, he has flexibility for sure. Oh, for sure. Um... Well, here's half the light units in the division, so that's cool. We'll start off with that. Uh, I'm surprised to see, again, I said it before, I was surprised to see one Bronwell, but here's a second one. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her in action this season. Um, Lucio, now that I've been seeing more Max reincarnated versions of him running around, yeah, I generally avoid that matchup no matter what I'm running. So that unit is going to be hard to get through. And uh, Stern's got enough utility in his kit that I think he's going to be not a lot of fun to deal with at times. But yeah, I think uh, we're ready for the uh, light of brilliance to be shown against the division this from this player. <laughs> I have to re-emphasize how much respect I have for new Lucio as well. I also try to avoid him whenever I go hunting around an arena. Um, another standout unit that I see here that could be interesting is the Lemure. I there it's gonna be there's gonna be some very fast comps running around so Lemure is going to be a very good enabler for whatever LXD tries to dish out so should be interesting to see what ends up in the battlefield. Yeah since uh, Lucio is 120 uh, he can only be paired with uh, Cecil or Minwu with Larte, but uh, Minwu, she's still a very great time mage uh, and she can heal a lot. So uh, yeah, I think that uh, this combo is going to be uh, very scary. <laughs> I can already see a hasted up quick and stern coming at us. <laughs> uh, next one is uh, Manta's team, so the seventh Evans Blade. This is not your original team. <laughs> oh, no. it's not? Do tell. My my original team would have added 11 spear units to the spear count. However, 
our gracious <laughs> host told me that I had to switch teams. His oh. his comment was something along the lines of, everyone's going to run 76% Pierce Resist against you. <laughs> Which, the original team name was just the tips, because I thought it was funny. But the backup team name was, no Pierce Res, please. So, after I got vetoed and had to switch teams, I uh, <laughs> I decided to go with a lot of units that I really wanted to switch things up here. Just use units that I haven't previously used in uh, some of the tournaments. So... I've got an evasion team, I've got some magic damage, and I've got some physical damage. Actually, I guess I have a couple evasion teams. Um, but I really just wanted to put some variety into my roster this time. So this is kind of where I landed after some deliberation. And, uh, you know, I got some support. I got one tank and some damage. So we'll see what happens this, this season. I'm seeing a lot of Fist and Katana synergy. So those are going to be some interesting comps. I'm a big fan of the Etter. Um, I've I've used her to great effect in odd and in different tournaments and uh, arena and Friday night fights. So I'm a big fan of hers. Lots of waifus. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is Seymour your only male? No, there's Hoblet. Yeah. And all that. And there's Rob. Okay. Okay. And two people. Gotta get Rob <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the Etre pick is actually a shout out to you. So when I was building Aww. a fist team, that's where I went. <laughs> I'm t I'm touched by my guildy in the Gull Wings and not in Lucis. <laughs> aren't, aren't you guys in the Lucis? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I didn't want it to be a uh, Debbie Donner on the full uh, piercing thing. It, it, the only thing is that uh, it, it, it's nice to run a, t a team team or. A, uh, so something original. Uh, the only thing is that uh, if you only run uh, something thematic and you're not having success and not uh, winning a single game all season long, it begins to become really depressing. <laughs> no uh, faith I, whatsoever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, what, just, uh, what a downer. <laughs> hey, it was an advice. You took it. You were not obligated. To. Took it. <laughs> <laughs> well, before I made the meme spear team, I actually had something along these lines picked out. Uh, I did tweak it a bit. So, so yeah. all right. So next team is going to be Mavericks Templi. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what is implying. Uh, <laughs> so we have as main carry uh, again. Uh, okay, he, he has some light and uh, lightning. So Chunak, Grifford. Resol, Rafal, so, so he's going really into a Spear, Greatsword, uh, Dagger. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. Well, first off, I see a reworked Axe team here that I know he's been using to much success as of late. <laughs> um, one pick that I'm really excited to see is Rysol, because unit design, when she came out, I was all in. I was pulling. Unfortunately, I pitied. Um, I don't get to use her as much as I'd like, but I still think she's a pretty cool unit. Um, so I'm excited to see her in action. Um, I can see, well, hopefully not a charm chicken down the bottom there, like <laughs> season one, but who knows? We could see one again. Um, kind of, I guess we're invested pretty heavily in ice on this roster. Um, and, and Grifford's definitely a very tanky, bulky unit. Shout out to the Velne pick, big fan there. We know how tanky his Mont can be as of as of recent success too, so I'm excited to see a few of these comps in action. I'm thinking there's going to be some interesting evasion mixed in. Yeah. Um, his dagger, uh, the Shunak, the dagger Ruff units. Rafal. Um, Fall, yes. Rysel, Knight of, Knight of Ruin Stern. So I think it's going to be pretty interesting comp to go up against um, but you better be bringing accuracy because Maverick could just mix it up at any point in time and it could get messy if you are not ready I like this comp a lot I hope that everyone in this division has uh, three Alex rings <laughs> 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 alright so wise next, words next one is going to be Sand Roosters Le Petit Cock <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why oh I man! Cock, but, uh, it, it's maybe uh, a word play for uh, English, but he, he probably only wanted me to say this. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely some English word play right there. Um, well, I'll start here. Not a meme team. I'm a little surprised. 
but that being said, we are complete cold triangle. Yep. Um, yeah, he's he's got a lot of... Uh, actually, you know what I'm most surprised at looking here is that 80 cost is his highest cost. I would yep. not be surprised if he's the only one in the entire league that that's the case with. Uh, and Eileen, that's going to be fun to see because I don't think I've ever... Well, actually, I, I take that back. I have seen an Eileen once and it was on a stream and I believe it was our friend Orin J who used her. Um, <laughs> the but, only place where you see her. Uh, only place. Um, I see few enablers here. We've got Valade. We've got Tidus. Um, Celis is going to be a very good magic tank. Kill phase pretty, pretty bulky. Overall, I, I, I do like the complete cold triangle here. Element wise, like you said, pretty, pretty coldish. Um, I like the curry. Um, that's going to be for when you can't use Wind Veritas TMR. Curry comes in as a good second option to hinder some physical teams. So if you're tr going physical, you definitely have to prepare for that. Um, you have the Titus who has Hastiga, so that's also something to watch out for. There's not, like you said, there's not big cost units, but I think a lot of things can happen really fast here. And this is a sneaky, sneaky good comp right here. Oh yeah, you can run uh, full your teams. So the emphasis is really there. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the comp is really well made. I can't wait to see what crazy combo uh, <laughs> that the Sun <laughs> Roaster uh, has found again. Uh, I know that he said in the server that he found something broken again. I <laughs> so uh, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm wondering. I, I don't see it here right now, but uh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> oh, um, you guys missed it, but uh, we covered Orange's team, and he doesn't play uh, Ailing this season. Oh, but we have the okay. Church of Oran. <laughs> the Church Fair enough. Of the Church. I like it. Sure. At least he's got Oran in there, so that's like a second homage. Absolutely. Uh, next player, Shadow Snatcher. Uh, so 2P or not 2P. <laughs> I like <laughs> really it. I like the name. <laughs> uh, so of course uh, we have 2P. Uh, we have uh, Jaden the Celebrated and Lightning as the main carries. Well, I see a very similar Fist team to one of the ones that I built. Um, I think he's got great, just looking up and down the roster, great synergy here on the VCs as well. Um, looks like we're decently heavy invested into the cold triangle with some lightning and tifa to offset that um i'm interested to see camillo because i remember from back in the day he's really good at dealing with magic units so he's someone you don't see every day i think you know seeing him you've got a full spear team you can run right there with the cost that one's going to be fun to watch in action um and you've got your enablers in minu and valet so i think he's got his bases covered here Lots of fists and spear synergy. Spear goes well with Staff Devout. There's Sword Knight. There's a lot of good mix, good comps here that you can mix together. I'm also interested in seeing the Camillo in action. He's a unit that doesn't see much action nowadays. Should be interesting, Lisette. Yeah, it's really uh, job focused. Uh, what I like about this team is that element wise, it's very varied. So it's going to be a very unpredictable team. Um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, really nice to see. Uh, nice team. Uh, next one we have a Toran Bar, so another two P player with the fire ferrets again. Uh, so here we have a two P Edward is nasty Ranan, uh, Ravius, um, and we have for the first time uh, Camral. I was expecting to see more of Camral this season. Um, I know he's been pretty popular in Friday night fights, he's but I see though. true. Um, I do see quite a bit in the uh quite a bit of a few fist teams here that he can build um ravius winter is you know kind of a wild card here um she can definitely take the place of the veritas tmr i personally <laughs> hate fighting her in cost limited i don't know how anyone else feels um Same. but uh <laughs> you know well, for no village here Veritas. but we went with minwu for our enabler here so i think that I, I see some great synergy on the warm triangle here, and uh, the great sword team is definitely going to be a wild card. You know, Mary Luke has been used in for very good as a very good support unit, so I'm interested in seeing that in a fist team as well. 
Um, I'm a little... I was thinking that it would be cool to see Cam Camaral and 2 Pete paired up, but the cost doesn't fit, so I guess it'll be have to be Edward Elric and anything yeah. c with a lower cost than that. Yeah, you're right, um, he doesn't have a 30 cost. But other than that, I guess you could go there with the natural fire and wind synergy. This yeah. is an interesting team. Um, I see a Renan, Minwoo and Rain team. I think it's going to be really uh, scary. Oh yeah, it's going to be scary for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I saw that one too. I'm and Renan is someone you don't see very often, so he's really, I was going to say, he's really a wild card too, because he's really the one magic carry on this roster. And, uh, you know, leaning more heavily into physical. If you're not expecting that, it's going to be tough to deal with. And if you do lean into physical, you better watch out for that winter rabies. <laughs> so again, uh, Taran Bar making a very uh, smart team. Uh, it's going to be uh, very competitive. And uh, that's it. So uh, we're done for uh, this division. Uh, I hope that you guys at home uh, really like the video. And uh, thank you, you guys, for accepting to uh, take uh, one division. I can't wait to see your uh, commentating. <laughs> <laughs> Like, wait, I can't wait to see it either. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I trained uh, Itaman PR yesterday, give him tips, so... Uh, <laughs> Just the tips? He's, he's going to Just the fine. tips. <laughs> All right, thank you, everyone, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Take care, guys.